guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tessie if this is the first time i'm stopping by here my name is tessie you're welcome please subscribe before leaving okay in this video i'm going to be making a video that i've already made before like this video i filmed this video last week and i end up deleting the video <music> support and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for click that subscribe button it's red either here or here and there is a tiny bell if you click it it will be notified whenever i upload a new video so don't be left out okay join the family yeah <laughs> let's dive into this video so this video is about um those that are married to italians basically yes so it's about getting italian citizenship okay so some time ago or uh, over a week ago i was having a chat with my friend marianne on instagram she uh, she's also a content uh, youtube content creator okay i'm going to be putting her channel here or here for you guys to check her out she's an amazing uh darling <laughs> okay so go to support her so i was having a chat with her because she uploaded her permanent um resident permit I was like, oh, girl, because I know that I've known her for a long time and since I know her, I know she's been living in Italy and she has two kids and she's married to Italian, so I was expecting her to, you know, be a citizen right now. So we got into conversation and then she was, I was, I asked her, why are you still getting a, um, uh, a permit to stay, which is called Permitta de Sojourn in Italian? She was like, uh, this is the second one and this is permanent one. I was like, why didn't you apply for citizen while you were holding your first, um, your first uh, perm uh, permit to stay? So she said she didn't know that she could apply or she didn't know that she can apply for citizenship before her first permit to stay expired. So that got me to make this video. I thought that, in fact, I'm going to make the video to let people know in case you don't know that um, while you are holding your uh, permit to stay, as if you're married to Italian, that you're entitled to apply for your Italian citizenship after two years, if you have um, have or not have kids, after two years, you, you are entitled to apply for your citizenship as someone that is uh, by marriage, okay? So I thought about making the video to, you know, enlighten people that don't know about this. My, uh, I got my first uh, marriage certificate, I'm sorry, my first uh, permit to stay five years. I have explained the why the reason why I got five years and the, how the whole thing works because for you to get a five years uh, resident permit as someone that is married to Italian, you have to uh, have, if you married in your place like if you married in your country, you have to translate your marriage certificate and the at, in Italian uh, at the Italian embassy in your country and that embassy will transcript that document to your husband residence. Okay, so with your husband residence, you would now take the certificate that the marriage certificate that the commune will issue you to the questura where you are going to be applying for your permit to stay. So with that, you will get five years uh, permit to stay. But if you don't do that, you can actually use only marriage certificate legalized at the Italian embassy uh, in your country to get two years permit to stay. So it depends on the stress you want to put. It depends on the, how you want to do it. But my, I got my first. Uh, resident permit uh five years okay so after two years of that permit i had to apply for my for my citizenship yes guys you after two years of you living in italy like you living in italy married to your husband even those that are not living in italy but still married to italian after two years okay you have to apply for your italian citizenship with you don't have to wait until your permit to stay expired before you apply for it while you are holding that permit to stay you are entitled of applying for your italian citizenship okay do not make the mistake of i believe she, like she said she said she didn't know that she could apply for italian citizenship so this video is to enlighten you more if you're married to italian and you got your first uh, uh your first resident permit do not wait for that resident permit to expire before you 
apply for your citizenship okay so my own i got my citizenship the same year my permit to stay was expiring so i didn't renew my citizenship i mean my permit to stay i didn't renew it i have or because i already have um what is it called the citizenship so i didn't renew the permit to stay anymore because i don't have any reason to renew it so i applied for uh, permit to stay only once and i believe there is, this video is for you to do the same do not wait until your first permit to stay to expire before you uh you apply for your citizenship and remember that new law uh, for this uh whole citizenship that you have the new law so for you for those of you that don't know there is new law because when i did my i didn't write exam like i didn't fall for the my my res uh, my citizenship came out the same year I wrote, uh, I mean, the same year the law changed. So I didn't get to write the exam or do anything about Italian lesson or any, present any certificate. And uh, the new law says that you have to present B1 certificate, like Italian uh, language certificate. You have to attach that into your document, the document uh, you'll be using to apply for your citizenship. So before you apply for your citizenship, Please make sure you go to Italian school and uh, study for that certificate. When you pass the exam, they're going to uh, issue you the um, the B1 uh, certificate. That is what you're going to attach to your um, any uh, to your document to apply for Italian citizenship. I don't know if that is clear, okay? Because even this exam is not apply only those uh, for those that are living in Italy. It's for anyone married to Italian and looking forward in getting Italian uh, citizenship, you must get this, uh, you must pass this B1 exam. You must do the exam, you must go to the school, do the exam. If you think that you are perfect in Italian, you can just uh, go to, uh, you know, register for the exam. The exam is about, uh, they have two types of exam. I think one is uh, 100 euro or 150, 150 euro. I can't remember how much it is. There are two types of that exam. I've talked about it here on my channel, but I can't remember the exact video I talked about the B1 or B1. But if you want me to find out again about the B1 and B, uh, B1 exams, okay, you can always let me know. I will ask the teachers in the school about that. So, yes, guys, remember that you can apply for your citizenship while you're holding your first um resident permit this is important no wait until your resident permit expire before you apply for new uh before you uh get your uh, apply for your citizenship okay i hope that makes sense i have other videos about documents you re that is required uh to get italian citizenship these documents have haven't changed none of them have changed the only thing that changed is the amount the duration of the uh, the processing time so the processing time changed from two years to four years but you can still apply for your citizenship after uh, two years of living in italy you can and those that are married uh, to Italians and live abroad is after three years. I think they're about yes because they're not living in Italy. But those that are living in Italy after two years, you are entitled to apply for your um for your citizenship. Uh, whether your you, you got your resident permit new or not, as long as uh, as soon as it passed two years, go ahead and apply for your citizenship. No law will stop you because that is how I did my. I didn't renew. Uh, like I said earlier, I didn't renew my permit to stay. I my first permit to stay was what I used until I got my Italian citizenship. So make sure you do the same. Save yourself some stress of going to apply for another permit to stay before you start applying for uh for your uh citizenship. Okay, <laughs> so guys. That will be all for this video. If you have any other questions, you can always ask me. I will make the video as soon as I can, okay? Your girl's life is kind of busy right now, but I'm still maintaining my Sunday life. And you can also join me on my Sunday life. I do come live uh, every Sunday by 6 p.m. every Sunday. So you can come on live to ask me any question you want. I have a lot of people that is joining me. A lot of people will contribute into the question as well if I don't know. Or if I don't know it and nobody knows, I can go into research because of you. So, if I want to join my Sunday life, okay, where you get to ask anything, where we discuss different things, Italian and everything, life in general. So, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. God bless you all. Bye.